Understanding System Devices. In this lesson, you will explore the device management and system devices. Some guiding questions. What can be used to install, manage, and troubleshoot system devices? What does the compatible with Windows 7 logo mean? And what can be used to shut down some devices to save power? Device Manager can be accessed through the Computer Management Console. You can get there by right-clicking on Computer and choosing Manage. The Device Manager allows you to manage all your devices on your system, and it provides an easy interface to interface or work with those devices on your PC. Device Manager provides many, many levels of functionality, including determining if the hardware on the computer is working properly. You can use it to change hardware configuration settings, identify device drivers that are loaded for each device, and obtain information about each of the device drivers. You can also change the advanced settings and properties for devices, install updated device drivers, enable, disable, and uninstall devices, and roll back to the previous version of a driver. You can view devices by type, by connection, or by the resources they use, and you can show or hide devices that typically are not critical to view but might be necessary for advanced troubleshooting. So Device Manager gives you one place where you can go to troubleshoot your devices. When you're in Device Manager, you can double-click a device to access its management features. Here we're looking at the Microsoft USB Dual Receiver Wireless Mouse driver and on the general tab we can see information about this device and it tells us that the device is working properly. The driver tab uh, allows us to identify the properties and functions of the drivers. We can look at the driver details, update the driver, roll back the driver, disable the device, or uninstall the device. Some devices have power management features which are managed by the following options. You can allow the computer to turn off the device to save power, or you can allow this device to wake up the computer. In this case, the Microsoft USB wireless mouse, if you move it, it will wake up the computer. Various devices have other properties and tabs depending upon what type of device it is. So here we can look at the Intel ICH10 family USB enhanced host controller and we on the advanced tab we can see it has different properties than we saw on the previous device. So each device could have different properties that you can configure within the device uh, property dialog box. If you have a device that's not being detected automatically or if you have a device that's still present after you removed it, you can choose the Scan for Hardware Changes from the Action menu within the Device Manager. Looking at system devices, system devices are typically attached to your motherboard and they contain features such as your audio, your USB, uh, other types of devices like your plug and play controller. Uh, and these system devices can be found in the device manager. Devices will vary based on hardware configuration of manufacturer and what type of motherboard you have. Microsoft provides the Mac Microsoft Compatibility Center which helps you identify compatible devices for Windows 7. You can access it on their web page and you can look up all kinds of devices to see whether or not it is supported by Windows 7 so it should say Windows 7 compatible. Here are some questions I'd like you to discuss. What website will help determine if a hardware device is compatible with Windows 7? List three things you can do within Device Manager and what strategy can be employed if a device driver has been updated and the device no longer works.